in all likelihood, just statistically, the probability that a child who presents with any complaint right now has MPX is exceedingly low. The monkeypox virus is a close relative of the smallpox virus that was eradicated from the surface of this planet by vaccination. It is particularly worrisome in individuals who are immunocompromised, whose immune system is not completely intact. It is also particularly uh, dangerous in individuals who are uh, uh, pregnant and also, we believe, in children. In general, we consider children under the age of eight to be particularly at risk for more severe forms of the MPX uh, uh, virus infection. In the case of the MPX virus, there is some strong belief that the um, that these indi that individuals who've received a smallpox vaccine in their lives prior to the United States, for example, stopping the vaccination campaign, probably have some degree of immunity to MPX because the two viruses, smallpox and MPX, are so closely related. And in fact, um, the vaccines that are currently being used against MPX are uh, the, in many ways, vaccines that have uh, efficacy or, or presumed efficacy against smallpox as well. At present, the greatest majority of cases have not been diagnosed in children. We are, of course, monitoring the situation. We want to see what happens as this virus spreads across the United States. Uh, we, learn, we need to learn more about the modes of transmission of this virus, how it is spread. It seems that a very common method of spread is direct skin contact with, uh, between an individual who does not have the virus and an individual who has the virus on their skin in a lesion, for example. Uh, and that could be through um, intimate contact, it could also be through just contact with somebody in the family uh, who has a lesion or an unsuspected lesion, for example, and that lesion unfortunately touches uh, another individual. There is in fact concern that if somebody has MPX lesions and for example, uses a towel to uh, clean themselves, for example, in that area, and then somebody else uses that towel, that there could be some potential for spread through that route. By and large, while that possibility of course remains, I think it does not mean that parents or anybody should be concerned about, you know, touching doorknobs or for example, going to the grocery store or, or you know, touching objects that are out on the street, for example. That is not thought to be a very likely way for MPX to be spread. We tend to recommend for, to parents that if they see a rash that looks unusual to them, that they should contact their primary care provider. Um, there are many forms of MPX rashes. Uh, there are also many other viruses and other conditions that can look like a rash of MPX. And for those reasons, it's really probably best left into the hands of professionals to try to help a parent decide whether the rash that they're worried about deserves further attention.